your jacket first. Oh yeah, no one wants to have to do work with the jacket. You know what I'm saying? Damn. No one wants to work in a jacket. So let's take that off. Let me try this first. Because you're getting too smart for this. She's ready and she's going to place. Look at this girl. She's a thinker. What a yes. Start with a big old plate. Ready? Let me hide that, but you're gonna steal it. Place. Yes. <laughs> so Ooh, she got that whole control. What a paycheck. She doesn't look to me for direction. So I'm gonna start rewarding her for giving me some of that eye contact. Yeah. <laughs> now she goes into the bed and gives me eye contact. I'll pay for that. start with the team for direction and the help instead of going into this frantic back and forth. She's starting to get that. And this is where those marker words, yes, come in really handy because I can use that to let her know when I know she's doing something right. And that paycheck is coming. Yes, there you go. That's good. That was quick, but also kind of close. <laughs> yeah, charge that food. I love your food bag. rewarding if it's sustained for more than that split second. Yes, that was good. Well, eat the Rapunzel bees too. his kind of her attention span, like a half a second. So by building up Yes. By building up that time that she has to focus and look at me, we're working on that attention span and building a good habit. So let me just do one more. Yes, and we'll move on. Okay. Let's learn other stuff. To doing some fun stuff with place. Right, place? Yes. Now you 
you might notice during this video, she has moments where she'll start scratching or sniffing herself. Right? Come here, come here. Thank you. And I've learned that this is a displacement behavior for her. The more that she gets frustrated, the more fussy she gets with her body. Ready? Right? Nice. And that was really pretty. She gave good eye contact, got direction, took direction. So I'm going to make sure I pay this. I'm just letting her go to town on this big old chunk I got here. What I like that I'm seeing today with this is she's not grabbing the food and running. She's staying in the moment eating it, which is nice. Right, get here. <laughs> nice job, bud. This is a smart one. This is a smart one. Oh, wait. You can see all that thinking, right? Her looking around and kind of trying things. This is why I, I waited. Um, if she would have just stood there and had a blank stare or just got into frantic back and forth, it would have helped her. But you can see she's looking at the bed. She's looking at me. She's thinking and processing. Break. And I want to let her have time to think because the camera trying to build up that brain power. Okay. Wait for that eye contact again. So we don't burn out place, we're going to move to something a little more challenging to really work up that brain, and then we'll end with some ease of place again. It is the big terrifying, curious to see how she'll do. Today, yesterday, um, she struggled a lot with going into this box. Yes! <laughs> so we'll see what we get today. She ended with a couple successful reps of going in. Mostly she likes to just circle. So I'll put that guy right in the middle where she can't get it. And see, this is just problem solving brain power and confidence building for her because this was terrifying for her in the beginning. Oh, turkey. That's for that. The smaller food, more in the middle there. I'm not going to stop her from getting that reward. Oh, snaps. Yeah, there you go. She has to do is lock in this front, but she chooses the more difficult path. <laughs> there she goes. Nope, that's too hard. Maybe I'll jump in the side. So this right here is really just working her brain. Having problem solve it's an interesting way to do it. Yes, good girl. <laughs> um, but it's a good way for her to work her brain, um, problem solving skills, build up some confidence because she's able to accomplish and overcome something that she finds difficult. There's still a tiny piece in there. Nice job, girlfriend. Yes. See if I can't catch you and pay you in there. Now, what is the significance of this box? Well, one, it's part of a crate that I've used to travel with her in, and she hates going into the crate. So it'll help that. She does use potty pads um, in the house. So like most dogs who use potty pads, she will also use carpet at times. So we're just making it a more defined area. Eventually her potty pad will go into a box similar to this, so she actually has to go into something and maybe help differentiate carpet from her potty pad. So, but she's absolutely terrified of it on the day one.
He's a marketing gunner. And it's paid you well. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yes, I'll pay for that. This is the first time you notice now um, in this lesson. It's the first time she's looked to me for help just after those few little reps of eye contact. Typically, she just spends her time teasing about. Her brain is just uh, her brain is just in a little struggle. Come on. I could and should move that box kind of yes, make this a little bit easier for her. Um, and I probably will if we don't get this. What I like about this, yes, it, it's challenging to her, but she's choosing. This is easy to be paid. I love that she is choosing. She wants to do more of the more challenging one, which I like that, but we've got to get her place first, too. So I'm going to swoop this out of the way for just a moment. Ready? Place. Yeah. See that made it easier for her. Good job. Freak. Come on. Mm -hmm. Ready? Place. <laughs> She's going back to the box. She wants this challenge. <laughs> Place. <laughs> Come on. I will challenge you. Come here. Place. Bring it here. Yeah. Alright. You want to do more of that box? You want more of that challenge? You like it being hard? Good girl! How resistant she was to going in there yesterday as compared to today. Yeah, it's a repetition for the rest of the get you. Come on, just good job, Mama. That also tells me that I can. Good girl. Let me move up a little bit. That I can move up the difficulty, the challenge a little bit for her. And knowing now that she enjoys it, um, we'll be more creative to add more challenges to simple things. I appreciate you cleaning the gate ropes. You're so gross. <laughs> Are you just gonna live in there? Are you just gonna live in there? I gotta get another tin. I don't think you're done eating. Want something to sink you? Come here, come. Good. Ready? Just gonna put on. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> yes. Break up. Yeah, I'm gonna move you like this. Alright. So 
let's challenge her here and see if we can make her back over to place. So, in this scenario, um, she's been doing a couple days of place pretty well. I say this with absolute all love and affection. Um, she has two brain cells that fight each other. So right now they're fighting, right? I wanted, I've done this. I've been paid for this, but this one made me feel better because <laughs> I overcame something, accomplished something. So she wants to go back to doing this one. So the brain cell that was retaining place has died off. So I'm gonna stop repeating it. I know we've had it for a couple of days. Um, and I'm gonna go back to just luring her and paying her a couple times. Help her, right? She's not used to learning. She's not used to pieces together. So I have no problem stepping back a few steps to her. Mary, come here. Come on. <laughs> Bring back to get the other hand to leave. Come here, please. Yes. Darling, you darling. Mm -hmm. I did good for you. Can I pin that? So she's going to be. I'm going to wait a while before I really build any kind of duration with her or any kind of pressure to stay on a place. Um, getting her to do the action um, was a big accomplishment to build that. Yes. So we're just gonna keep it really simple for a few days to really make that feel good. Okay, can I place? Yeah, you clean that one little bit. 